doesn't oh, chew his man. toenails. He got put on the spot. He's not used to that stuff. Well, you know you're being put on the spot. They tell you 20 seconds. Stop being an ill willy. I'm not being an ill willy. Well, he was ill. ill willy. That you was ill. ill. We've been in the room for those. You got five seconds to prepare. That's weak. So I like. He was funny. He His was timing. just thinking. He has yeah. the he rallied. Was not funny. He rallied. He didn't need 20. He took 15. And I'm a to good get it dresser. Done. I think. We gave him. Let it go. Athletic gear. Let it go, Brown Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, talk to me, John. He's a hell of a football player, though. He is. In fact, yeah, eight tackles, uh, including Come two sacks against Vanderbilt on Saturday. How many Saturday. noggins it takes to make that jacket? <laughs> oh, no. uh, number 12, Kentucky has been relying more and more on Josh Allen and Corduroy's their defense, back this year. which has allowed just 12 points a game in conference play. Anything else? I want to talk over Adam, too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks to maintain control of their East Division destiny with a trip to Missouri. Now, the Tigers can put together a highlight reel of Drew Locke. Third game with four touchdown passes Saturday, but against the SEC, he's tossed one touchdown, five interceptions, and Mizzou is 0-3 in league play. The Wildcats are 4-1 in conference with the nation's number two scoring defense, and bam, bam, Benny Snell has now cracked 165 on the ground in three SEC games this season. They're more physical than people give them credit for. They're, they're really talented in, in running the ball, and it puts a lot of pressure on your secondary, and once again, you've heard me talk about that many times. When you're defending somebody, if they have balance, it puts a lot of stress on you because you have to play with numbers in the run game, which gives them opportunity for big plays in the pass game. And they have the ability, you know, he, he you know, with the quarterback, with the talent that he has and the speed that they have to put a lot of pressure on you. All right, Mark Stoops is hunkering down for this mm. one here. Uh, and he might have heard that Sportsline has Missouri what? winning this game. 26-23 for their first conference win of the year. You, you got a problem with that? No, I don't. I oh. think Missouri's going to win this game. <laughs> oh, it's, I, it's more having a feeling that Kentucky's in trouble, man. There were some concerning things that I saw offensively. And I think having the sort of offense that they have built around Benny Snell, you can run the ball. But what happens if you get behind? Going on the road is going to be a challenge. Missouri against good defenses has turned the ball over against uh, good quality teams. They've got to be able to protect it. But this is the type of game I think Missouri can sneak out. I'm with you, man. I, I vacillated on this, and, and that's a fancy word, me going back and forth on who I was going to choose. I think I'm going to land, though, on Missouri. Uh, I think they have enough offense, and maybe Drew Locke off the heels of, you know, his last conference game, at least throwing a touchdown pass finally. Now, last week, yeah, he went off against Memphis. Uh, but uh, I think he can build from that. But this is an excellent defense that Kentucky employs. But I'm going to go with the, the Tigers at home. Hmm. I'm going with Kentucky. Uh, the last six times, that Missouri under Odom has faced teams that are allowing 17 points or less, or otherwise known as really good defenses. They've lost all six of those games, and this Kentucky defense is for real, and they're going to win this game. Kentucky defense is for real, exactly right. Second in defense in the country in points, 12th in yards. They are going to find a way. He's trying to win games with his defense, and I think Terry Wilson will play better this week. Obviously, they didn't ask for much from him a week ago against Fandy. I like the Wildcats, and then get the chance to come home against Georgia, Georgia. the following weekend. Yep. I think that's why you see that coach hunkered down. He knows yep. how big this game is for Kentucky it could football. Be, it could be Kentucky winning the SEC East. Florida fans obviously are going to be rooting for Missouri in that one. Uh, 